Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Carlos 957, and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat by Cremo. So, first I'll be doing the truck series from Iowa, and then the cup series in Sonoma. So, two separate race tracks, but in the same race weekend. So, here's my uh, my race team so far for the trucks, and they're all at 100 rating for across the board and I've been having a dominant season and really I've been putting people in the right places to make sure that I have a really fast car and, and for me to drive it it's been a privilege to like actually dominate and be a lot of laps and like put the front of land that's all and that's how much I've uh, been, you know, doing well. That's all. So, in a few minutes, I'll be doing my qualifying lap at Iowa, and hopefully, I can qualify a lot better because it's one of my weaker tracks. So, and we're gonna do it right now. So we're in the the truck garage and. Now we're on the track now, and we'll see where I start. So here I am in the back straightaway, trying to pick pick more speed up in this truck. So let's see, turn straight four, and I get the green flag from Iowa Speedway. So let's see if I can try to get a. Fast qualifying lap, so. And, uh, that turn was not impressive. Even though it looked fast, it didn't, to be honest, so. And here I am, third stream four. Will this qualifying lap be impressive? 24.464, 16th fastest. Not a bad lap overall, so. So let's figure out who's on the pole right pole in this race. And it'll be Stuart Friesen along with Sheldon Creed in the front row. So So here's your starting lineup. And here's the story of the race. Johnny Saunders will be slow today because of his poor lap times. Riley Herbs failed pre-race inspection and then Jason White crashed in qualifying so so let's get this race underway and here we go from Iowa Speedway for the trucks for the M&M's 200 so so I easily go in the inside since I was I moved up one spot so 15 to 13 and Raphael Lazar going in the inside. And I'm kept back to 15 once again. So. Yeah, I'm stuck behind Spencer Boyd. Trying to get a position for 14. Ugh. I knew this was going to be a long race because these flat tracks are not my favorite. And I don't know what to do to get around these flat tracks, you know. Yeah. Like a majority of the drivers struggle, and, you know. Like also we sell from Matt Crafter, for example, trying to, you know. That was not a sweet turn right there, so. The exciting part will be the end of the race, so. As the title says. Last lap excitement from Iowa. So I'll do that right now.
So we're back, so Iowa Speedway is quite exciting and I got as high as 4th in one of those uh, green flag runs and there were a few costume flags on the way so uh, I was lucky I'm in this position so. so so as I go in the outside of Tyler Ingram yeah, there's 3 cars I have to pass in order to get there and it ain't gonna be easy. So I get alongside Ben Rhodes and Brent Moffin. <laughs> and I have a good run in the outside and I'll be able to pass him like that. So, so here is two laps to go. And I have to pass Granny and Finger. And Tyler Anchor is trying to pass me for second place. And we come to the white flag lap, and Granny Finger got the lead. Will I make a move? Hmm, gonna bump him from behind. And looks like he catches the car. Yep, he will catch the car. Will I dump into the car? And oh, and I get loose on me because it's. And Grand and Finger will win at Iowa. Funny. Running at the M&M's 200. I finished second. Speed rating of 99. This is impressive. This is not over 100, but I kind of like where I ran, but here are the highlights. And pretty much just trying to log laps. Uh, I'll be doing this Sonoma race right now and hopefully this Iowa race really impressed you and really put you on the edge of your seat. So Sonoma race from the for the Cup Series, here we go.
so I skipped well I did my Sonoma qualifying laps but since the in lap and out lap is really long but you're trying to do one qualifying lap I decided oh I'll be starting back doesn't mean anything and plus I crashed in qualifying which means I have to climb back from the back of the pack and see if I can move my way to the front that's all so pretty much I just sucked <laughs> yeah I suck man <sighs> So here we go, I start dirty dirt and here I go. And the green flag is out at Sonoma Raceway. And I leave the large gap between me and the car ahead of me and see if I can get a good run. Yeah. Yeah. That was okay, but not what I expected. Okay, after this one lap, I'll fast forward to the end of the race and hopefully you guys don't get bored of this road racing stuff that not many people like, especially for NASCAR fans. It's just, oh, if you don't have a great race car, you're never going to get to the front. So let's see if I can keep this car together and not get in the back of anybody. And uh, that one was okay. Yeah, and again, the side of Timmy Hill. Oh, man. That had to be an aggressive move right there. And Timmy Hill gets by me. And he just side bumped me. Oh, that's Michael McDowell right there. And Ryan Priest is behind me. He may get. By me and Ooh, and I Ooh, Tyler Reddick and that's like Tyler Reddick. He may not like that. So So this is one lap around Sonoma. I'll catch you guys at the end of the race.
here. Green down, let's go. Thank you. 
one green. Be ready here. Green flag, green flag. Left side, left side. All right, you're clear. Head to go. Still there. All clear. Clear left. Right side. Right side, right side. Clear right. Right side's clear. All right, you're clear.
so here we are at the end of the race. I'm still stuck in the back and I'm dead last. Which I think is unacceptable, but I, since I know I'm in the playoffs, I wasn't under pressure to like actually win the race or even run up front, but it is what it is, so. So I'm up to 36, which don't mean much because I'm in the back of the pack and I'll stay there for the prolonged period of time. And, ooh, and I crash. Hmm. And a caution comes out once again. When will this race end? I don't know. Don't ask me. I just trying to desperately get up there. Yeah, I think running the carousel at Sonoma is one of my weaknesses, you know, because you don't have the turn that you go after when you make that then right hand turn to the carousel and there's three, turn 3A, three turn B, 3B, 4, 5, whatever that is. So basically, yeah. ooh, and I get in the back of mm, Timmy Hill again. Ooh. I must not like this sun on my race, I'm telling you. And if if the DM, DNF parameters were available back then, like like it was in Ashley Watkins Glen, yeah, I would have gotten DNF right there. So. You don't get a DNF when you run into people that hard like I just did, but if you did hit the wall, yeah, like on in a certain angle, yeah, I mean, you're out of here. So we're coming to one lap to go after this lap, and I'm in 30 seconds right now. This is very disappointing. Let's just hope the next time next time I go to another road course race, I don't keep DNFing these races, you know. And there's I believe Joey Kiss ahead of me. Yeah, I don't care where I finish. Just somewhere in the dirties. But this will not make sponsors happy otherwise. And to tell you the truth, I used a setup from FMF228, I believe. And, yeah. If I put too many twos on his YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah, you might have typed the wrong one. Wrong. Wrong one. <laughs> so. I guess only for the road course races, that's the set I'm, I'm gonna use. FMF228. So shout, shout out to him for giving me the setup that I believe will work, but yeah, it won't it won't make me fast on a long run, to tell you the truth. So, so here I am trying to pass Joey Gase for position and. If I keep pace with him, I may gain that spot back, so... So here are the last few turns at Sonoma. Will I be able to keep pace with Joey Gase? We're about to find out. Yep. Ooh, Ross Chastain passed me right there, and... I'm gonna dive bomb Joey Gase, and... I'm gonna be able to pass, and yes, I will. And I'm gonna be finishing 31st at Sonoma, so yeah, poor performance, but we could have done a lot better, so. So I guess that's the end of the race. Um, there's Ty Dillon spinning out in the carousel. And let's see. 
There's me trying to gain a lot of speed through that big hill right there. <sighs> Yeah, that's just Joey Case trying to be Joey Case. So. Yep. And. Spoiler alert. Do you not have six cup rivals already? I mean, that's ludicrous and that's unacceptable if you're running up front a lot, you know? And it can affect your outcome of winning a championship, I'm telling you. So, let's see who the winner is. Hmm, I didn't see who the winner was, but who cares? Hmm. And I'm dropped back to 8th in points, so. Oh well, dog days of summer are just getting a lot worse for me. So, I guess I always got a one, so, yeah. He got the fastest lap, he led the most laps. And let's see more. On the move was Ryan Priest. And a tough break of the race is Ty Dillon. So. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content. Get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.